Yo, dog. I heard you liked bones, so we put bones in your bones. That's right. This week's episode is on the major boners of AOS, Osiarch Bone Reapers. Osiarch Bone Reapers, or Bone Lords, are Age of Sigmar's answer to a question no one was asking. What if skeletons, but more? OB are the true military might of death, a horde of bone warriors crafted from the bones of their enemies, broken down and reformed into new, stronger, and stranger bones by the machinations of the large bone father Nagash himself. Based on a surprising misunderstanding of how bones actually work for a guy who is basically 80% bone, Nagash's Bone Brigade were created to be the disciplined military front that could successfully wage war with other factions of the mortal realms. They were designed to be a death army that would crush their enemies, standing in stark contrast to the previous army he created, Nighthaunt. The Bone Pinchers are led by Catacros, the Mortarch of the... Necropolis? He is one of the best diorama-style models in Age of Sigma, and one of the silliest in-game models, as he and his lackeys presumably pick up the rocks as they move around the battlefield and get back into the position as Catacros poses dramatically like a character in anime. The Bone Land Raiders run on a system of command points called Relentless Discipline Points. Relentless Discipline is constantly accrued during the game and spent on generic commands that buff units in a variety of ways. Once one of the best allegiance abilities in the game, the increase in generic command abilities and command points given in 3.0 that OBR don't even have access to has led to everyone else getting a better version of RDP. Like if everyone but Stormcast could deep strike 5 inches out or Say, everyone could save stack for a command point except OBR. Or, everyone could bring back models for a command point except OBR. Ah. The army range itself is made up of strange bone perverts, with each model weirder than the last. Although, if you play against them, all you will see is more tech guard. Hundreds and hundreds of the lumpy little freaks. Nagash's failed attempt to improve on perfection. Sure, they're interesting, and I applaud Games Workshop for trying something different, but how can you improve on this? You do have some more variety in your heroes, including Dr. Evil and Mini-Me, Mortisan Soul Mason, Mortisan the Last Soulbender, Mortisan Body Fondlers, Bone Jack Horseman, this guy, and Zapdos. Although, stop me if you've heard this one before, but you won't use, like, half of them? The one silver lining being that Ober has some really points-heavy heroes, which means I don't have to see as many Mortec guards on the board. And now, you know how to play OBR in Age of Sigma.